okay and we've just returned to our sweet day one to find today's tail animal which looks like an elephant well that's a nice touch so perhaps it's a good time to have a bit of a look at the cabin uh, let's have a look so we do find that it's a good idea to have the windows and the curtains fully drawn to let light into this room just the way the balcony is angled you get an indirect view of the ocean uh, you still you can still see the ocean from the bed uh, but the advantage of the larger balcony is just slightly offset by having uh, less ocean frontage or less ocean view uh, but we're enjoying the larger living area we can see Stuart gracefully reclined in a chair there desperately trying to get onto the internet uh, so th the room comes with a Lavazza coffee maker we don't seem to have a kettle I thought I was expecting a kettle and I bought my own special tea bag so we might ask our room steward for a kettle uh, there is this I don't want to call it a sofa it's more of a divan it's also very hard to sit on but it's not too bad but uh, you can lie on it quite comfortably uh, the bed was comfortable last night, our first night. Either side of the bed there is some extra hanging space uh, with the robes included. Not a lot of bedside storage. Uh, not a lot of drawer space in this particular cabin. There's drawers on this side, just underneath the safe. Uh, and other than that, the only other drawers are over here underneath the sort of coffee service area. Uh, there is a desk with a mirror. Uh, the desk you can see is where you know you can charge everything. We've got, let me see, we've got two American points here, one European point and two USB points. And in addition to that, Behind the coffee maker, there's an additional American and European point. And then beside the bed, there is an American PowerPoint. And in the bathroom, there's the standard you know, bathroom shaver point. The TV is against that wall, which means it's not really in line with anything. It's offset from the bed and offset from the sofa but, or the divan but I think it's tiltable. Okay, let's have a quick look at the bathroom. Okay, so pretty decent size bathroom. The junior suite with large balcony has the bath with the shower over the bath, which is an advantage or a disadvantage, depending on whether you like baths. It does mean you get a shower curtain rather than a glass screen. There's a reasonable sized vanity. Once again, not a lot of storage space in here. We're sort of limited to the little bit of bench space each. Uh, the, you know, toilet is there as you'd expect a full-size mirror to check yourself out before you go up on deck and then uh, let us move out onto the balcony so we're actually sea day today so it's well it's not too windy out here but once you move out facing forward yes you get some wind which you're probably noticing with the wind noise hitting the microphone because the balcony is angled, your view is restricted somewhat to a forward 120, 140 degrees. You can't, you can't look back and see the rear of the ship, okay, because we're on the side of the hump. But you can look forward and you can get out and it's almost, well, you can see the bridge, the bridge up there. Uh, but the angled balcony does mean you have a sheltered area back here. What we really like about the junior suite with large balcony is you get these two recliners uh, and they're padded um, but as you can see at the moment no direct sun uh, at the moment because i think we're facing well i think we're facing south here and in the southern hemisphere facing south means you're on the other side of the ship from the sun there's a nice lamp there and so that is the junior suite with large balcony. Okay, so this is our in-room coffee option in the junior suite. Lavazza coffee maker. You get four capsules. Well, at least four capsules a day because our room steward has replenished them. 
both times he services the cabin. So uh, we've been, but we've been using a Mat 4. Lower the capsule, press the button. And then you get a choice of creamer. We've got UHT milk, which is what we use, but there is this latte creamer, which is a bit like, what's well, it like condensed milk, and I find it quite horrible. Um, but uh, that is an option, or you can just bring some real milk down from the wind jammer, I guess, but we're finding the UHT just fine. Well, now that we're in the tropics, our balcony has really come into its own. It's beautiful and warm here now, lovely warm breeze. We're about two hours out of Tahiti. And the balcony is sheltered enough so that we're not being hassled by the wind. Uh, but you just get a lovely sense of connection with the ocean. The lounges directly face the, the balcony edge and you just get a sense of moving, moving forward, which is a little unusual because the balcony balustrade's on a sort of a 45 degree angle on the side of the hump. So we're pretty happy with that. Are you happy with that, Stuart? I am happy with that. It's nice to have a sense of uh, forward direction. It's lovely. Mm. And um, because it's protected, it's not too windy or blowing mm. either. So yeah, it will be about Yeah, whereas when we were in the cooler climes, just out of New Zealand, it was a bit mm. chilly to use. And it, it doesn't get as much sun as other balconies because of the sort of the angled nature. Which which also then means it's not ideal within the room, because the room's a bit darker. But well, the room's a bit darker. But when we open the curtains fully, it's, it, works. it works quite well. 